the watcher is shook. Ultron got the watcher shook. Ooh. They really want us to respect Clint, you know, <laughs> in, his, in his arrows. I mean, I respect his skills. He's got skills. So. Uh, so they're like, y'all are gonna respect Clint. He's gonna yeah. be the last man on Earth. Hey now, I'm Kenya. Yo, I'm Kendra. We're, We're twins. twins. We, we love, love to watch. watch. And this is our reaction to What, what If Episode 8 Ultron 1? Yeah, so this is interesting because it looks like this is a direct continuation uh, to the last episode, Episode 7. So I guess this is a two part episode. We'll see what they do when we get here. But the screen shot or the thumbnail. Um, looks like that's the Ultron we saw at the end of episode 7, so can't wait to see what this is all about. Yeah, let's uh, really just get right into it. We're on a, a what if binge, so there's no real no reason to pause. If you like what you see, like that video. If you haven't subscribed, why not subscribe? Make sure you leave us a comment, let us know what you think about this episode. And so, without further ado, wait, ado, 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 ado. Let's react to episode eight. What if? We've seen this before. A universe in the final days of destruction. But this particular story, this, this one breaks my heart. <laughs> Yeah, this one breaks his heart. Here they come. We got 90 seconds. Start the clock. I got a bionic arm. shit the whole fucking time. Yeah. Wow. Well, okay. I see everything. There are worlds beyond my own. Worlds that need me. Okay. 
Yeah, he got that reality stone, so I guess he can just do whatever the fuck he won't. I'm going to bring about peace in our time. Oh, so, oh, okay. Listen, Skynet, I've seen the killer robot movie, and I gotta say, I really don't think it needs a sequel. Ultra hive mine of the 
Whoa! What happened? How did it work? I don't know. Hive mind is out of range. Quint's gonna die. They really want us to respect Clint, you know, in his, his arrows. I mean, I respect his skills. He's got skills. You know, maybe we'll watch Hawkeye and... Uh, so they're like, y'all are gonna respect Clint. He's gonna yeah. be the last man on Earth. Apparently. <laughs> y'all gonna He's gonna survive deal Black with Widow. He's gonna survive Clint. all of them. Oh, wait a minute. They're reversing this? I don't wanna fight you. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, just give up your life, okay? Damn. I still don't get it. Why weren't you able to connect to the hive? Wherever Ultron is, it does not appear to be within some observable universe. Then where Ooh. is he? Uh, oh, he went to, yeah, so he went to a different universe. Right. Okay, the watch is hanging in there. Go watch your boots! Ooh. I don't understand. This should not be possible. Oh, but anything is possible in the multiverse. Did the Watcher knock Ultron into... Or did Ultron just go into the universe that Thor was partying in? So that's how he was able to show up at, at, at that point. Yeah, you can get that. I mean, I didn't know he was just going to go into where the Watcher was and have access to the multiverses, but I get it now. Warren Oath, I cannot exert my will to the natural order of things. I cannot intervene. Okay, Watcher, is this the natural order of things? I will bring peace. It is my purpose. You lack the will to stop me. Man, you better do something, bro. Whoa! Oh shit! You cannot compute the power of my will. Okay! Oh! oh Alright! Hey! Hey! Oh! Oh! Is the Watcher a god? The Watcher's a god, right? Well, he's a god, then the Watcher's a god. Well, he told, uh, Dr. Strange he wasn't a god. He's bursting through the universe, universe fam! Just... Fighting through universes. What? 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 How's that possible? Oh my god. This is this is this is oh the multiverse of madness shit I've been waiting for. Wow. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on, fam. Thank you. Come on, dude. You can, you can do it. You got it. You got it. You got it. Okay. He, he ran away. Watch. It doesn't matter. From here, I can see everything. No one can stop me now. Yo, bro. Are you in a mirrorverse? Trapped with Doctor Strange? Is that what's going on? Yeah. You in there with, with freaking... Look, look. Look who's back. Been living the dream alone in a prison of my own making ever since. Okay. Forgive me for what I said. I see now. I need your help. Oh, damn! best three episodes yeah they were so good that last episode was amazing Holy shit. i now I, I think that this is vindication for ultron you know supporters who 
I didn't appreciate the way people shat on Age of Ultron. Like, I know, like, you know, he who must not be named was involved with it. Sure, yes, yes, sure. It was a lot going on. And we had to deal with that weird thing with Black Widow and the, and um, her whole thing. But I thought Ultron as a villain was really, really, really awesome. And I thought James Spader did a really great job. And I just thought that that movie deserved a little bit more credit, in my opinion. And so here we have this shit here, where it's proven if Ultron had won, holy shit, they, it's, it's real, real, real lucky that, that they were able to stop him because God damn. I think Ultron was a great villain. I think he was a little bit more cerebral than uh, Loki. And I think he primed us for... Yo, uh, he just split Thanos in half by glop. <laughs> He primed us for Thanos because if we didn't have Ultron, I don't know if Thanos would have been appreciated as much as he was because both of them, even though Thanos is a is a freaking um, mad titan, uh, he really didn't throw fisticuffs so much as he, you know, played a game of chess that culminated in a big battle. Um, and Ultron was just sort of that thinking man's enemy basically um and they needed to create vision essentially in order to help them defeat him um i think that that movie age of ultron had so much to do setting up the civil war um and being its own container uh to to get really setting up the rest of yeah. that phase there was a lot of dominoes that had to tip over uh, yeah. in order to get a lot of stuff rolling but but yeah, this was a really good sort of, and I'm just so surprised because this whole um, season, it seemed like these universes were contained within themselves, and then it, and then the last few episodes, it just started to knock into each other. Yeah. Um, but that's that's awesome, and I was wondering if maybe there would be a bit more involvement from the Watcher since he just seemed to be getting closer and closer, interacting more and more and more. And then that episode with Doctor up. Strange when he actually yeah. came into that world and spoke to Strange. I was like, oh, I don't know. So his words came back to bite him in the giant focus head. <laughs> I really love that there was that episode with Killmonger that was serious and it's about espionage. And then we get this party episode with <laughs> Thor where you're having so much fun and laughing our butts off. And then we get this freaking Terminator-esque yeah. episode with Ultron and the Watcher. There was still a lot of I humor laced through it there. though. Yeah. Like even even the Watcher was cracking jokes through a lot of that. So I mean, yeah, so I'm just I'm I'm wondering what the it's tone horrible. is gonna be for the last episode and if that's gonna end on a cliffhanger. Uh, that'll either keep setting us up for the next slate of films or just, you know, let us give us a hint about what the season two would be about uh, for what if. But yeah, man, I know, I know, I keep saying it and people are sick of it, but Marvel is knocking it out of the park. <laughs> Man, I'm just, uh, I can't believe there's only one episode left. Um, and I'm actually, you know what, this episode, I, I think I'm, I think I'm gonna watch Hawkeye. Yeah, I feel like this episode more than really anything I've seen his character in, I, I appreciated Hawkeye and I didn't, he didn't get on my nerves. <laughs> he usually gets on my nerves, but this episode, he was funny. I appreciated his, rela I've always appreciated his relationship, relationship with, with Nat. Yeah. Um, and what he did for her and how, you know, loyal she she always was to him. He just wasn't at the top of my you know, whatever, he's just there. I think that with Hawkeye setting him up to be this kind of this kind of John McClane character going on his own little slapstick adventure, uh, in New York around the holidays, I think that's a good format and tone to set for his series because he is a bit like curmudgeonly <laughs> and he's seen some things and been through some things and you know he's got a family to protect and support, so um, that'll that'll be interesting to see. I guess it, it'll maybe it'll help me sort of warm up to his character. Um, but I liked I like I liked him in this in this episode. So yeah. Okay, guys, um, that was our reaction to episode eight. Episode eight of What If. 
Ultron fucking won, and let me tell you, we don't want that. No, we don't. We All don't roads lead don't. to multi multiversal war. madness. So, oh, well, yeah, multiverse. or just collapse war, madness, whatever you want to say. But like, you know, Marvel is not playing about this. They, we laying. get it. We get it. It's okay. about the multiverse. Is that the next phase? That's it. Yeah, that's that's the, multi. It's the multiverse. That's the next phase. We get, so. I think we get the hint. Yeah, we get. We're, we're getting all <laughs> I of think. it. Uh, Okay, yeah. so um, until the next episode, until next time. Um, if you guys like what you see, please like the video. If you're not subscribed yet, why not give us a chance? Subscribe to the channel. Make sure you have your notifications turned on so you don't miss one. 